I have attended one other synod back in 2008, and one of the things that surprised me was just how hard work it is, a synod. Well, I've never been to a synod before, so to some degree it's a little a bit of a mystery. But I understand that there are several formats that can take place, that uh, there has been a tradition of people giving a, about a four minute uh, talk. What you hear or see emerge is, is, is a great tapestry of the reality of the church right around the world. Uh, then we have the small groups and, and they can be hard work. Last time I was elected secretary of the group and that made it even harder work. But the small groups are important because they're less structured. Uh, there is some talk that Pope Francis this time will expand the work of the small groups to make the whole synod less structured. So I expect to have three weeks of, uh, of hard work, uh, enjoying the company of the other bishops, many of whom I know. Just to be with Pope Francis uh, I think will also be fascinating because I've met him once briefly, but I've never really seen him in action over time. So to, to be with him and to work with him I think is also um, it will be part of the fascination of the Synod. Uh, so three weeks of uh, something which will be uh, exhausting in one sense but exhilarating in another. That's what I'm looking forward to at the Synod. I live in a privileged part of the world here in the Northern Territory, but we have enormous challenges here. Uh, really good people struggling with difficult circumstances. And some way or another, God is very present in that. And it's my desire to bring that to the Synod uh, so that uh, the church can embrace the whole of humanity, perhaps in a, even in a new and loving way.